Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, where I left you off on a bit of a cliffhanger. Um, I know you, you ruined our plans at Mount Moon. Um, I think generally Team Rocket's plans always boil down to do something evil with Pokemon and make money. Uh, not very imaginative, I guess. Okay, still don't have any water moves on Gyarados, but... Um, I'm going back and forth on whether I should give him one or not. I just have this affliction which I get in a lot of games that any useful item or any good item, like for example in this case Water Pulse, the TM, um, I don't want to waste, so I end up saving it, you know, for when I actually need it. And then that moment never really happens. There's never a point, at least in, in most games really, where you know beforehand that this is going to be the last time you have a chance to use that item or the last meaningful moment to use it. So very often after you or after I've defeated a game or beaten the final boss or I've just ended New Game Plus or something, I find that Oh, remember this, like, sword buff you had from the very beginning, which you saved up for a difficult fight? Yeah, that was the most difficult fight of the game just right now. You didn't use your buff. It just happens all the time to me. So... Maybe I should change that, but meh. Doesn't matter. Um... Currently kind of at a low point of the game, or at least of how the party I've chosen to use uh, is kind of at a low point. Yeah, let's intimidate each other, that's hugely helpful. But that moment will pass fairly soon and we will be able to basically steamroll a lot of the upcoming content of the game. Uh, why would I pr say yes? I don't want to change Pokemon. Just give it a bite. Nom nom nom. And he uses an Arbok. Which is a pretty cool looking Pokemon, I just... I'm not a big fan of poison types, so... I mean, I guess they might be better in this game than in the originals. Wow, I got poisoned, obviously. Um, mostly because I guess it might be that there's some more useful poison attacks. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think two more levels and I learn Rain Dance, which is again kind of pointless. But hey, there's definitely a boss here. Apparently I've played for 21 hours, so you can see how much I... Uh, how much time I spent leveling. Or at least how much in-game time, which as you know, it's sped up. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokémon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. He is not the trainer where I would love to have a water move on, on me, because he has a bunch of Pokémon that are weak to it, but... It isn't meant to be. I mean, I'll, I'll be able to deal with him easily enough, but... It would be nice to have like a Surf or a Hydro Pump or a Water Pulse or any water move right now. Heck, I, I'd go for a Water Gun. Uh, Dragon Rage. Let's see what Alakazam does. Alakazam. Or Alakazam. Whatever. I am over leveled and very strong. 
And you just wait until I learn Psychic, which is even more powerful. And he has a Kangash... Kangashkan? Kangashkan? Kangaskan? I think it's meant to sound a little bit like Genghis Khan. But it's a really cool Pokemon. When I was young, I always used to want to have one. But I never knew where you got it. Because that was I, I didn't have any guides or any internet or anything like that. So um, It's only years later I found out that apparently you get it from the Safari Zone. But I know the magic was gone by then. I see that you raised Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And oh look, he dropped the Sylph Scope. And that is what is required to... Um, to be able to deal with the next area that we will be dealing with, which is the Pokemon Tower. And basically this, this area here, it's kind of a quick way out. So you don't have to go through all the puzzles again in reverse order. Nice music in there, though. That's quite cool. Uh, I should buy some better. I should buy some stuff in the uh, in the shopping center, shopping mall, the big shop, basically. Um, The department store. It's got an elevator, but I don't want to use it because I want to check each floor to see what they have. Actually, let me sell. I should have a nugget or two. Uh, you can also have the X attack and the X defend because I never used those, so might as well sell them. Uh, what do PP up sell for? Wow. So yeah, if I need money and I'm out of uh, out of nuggets. I will sell those as well, PP ups also giving a lot of money. Uh, calcium is also quite valuable, but I actually don't want to sell them. Uh, Roar, Hyper Beam, you can buy a Hyper Beam, that's pretty cool. It's very powerful, but you basically after you've used it you have to rest for a turn. Uh, you can buy Dig, which is nice, Brick Break. Uh, I think this might be one of those moves that you can use outside of combat as well. I might want that, possibly. Uh, secret power, I don't need. Attract, I don't want. Okay. How about you? Okay, you don't sell anything better than Great Balls, which I have 20 of. That should be sufficient. Actually, since I'm here, might as well buy 10 more. Um... But yeah, he only sells the standard stuff by the looks of it. So let's go up one more floor. See what this guy sells. Oh, he, he just teaches me a uh, move and he has a very bad pun. So there we go. Don't want that move though. Um, what are you selling? Pokedoll, uh, you used to kind of, it used to be something you wanted, but not anymore, I believe. Uh, you can buy all the evolution stones here, well, the elemental ones, you can't buy moonstones, but again, I don't think I have any Pokemon that needs those. I mean, I have some in storage, like the Pikachu could use a Thunderstone, but I don't want to evolve it, basically, at least not yet. Um... When I'm looking to work on my Pokedex to get the 60 Pokemon that I need, then I'll probably buy those, but that may very well happen off camera. Okay, he sells very expensive permanent status ups, um, which at least they're in infinite supply, but they are very expensive, so uh, not necessarily something uh, I'm going to be buying. And. Um, this guy t sells temporary ones, which are quite good, but I don't need them. 
But if you're playing in in uh, in a way that has you somewhat underleveled, underpowered, um, these can compensate a lot. They are actually very powerful, but I don't. I just I don't need them if I am of an equal level to the enemy. They or even uh, above his level, and if I have the type advantage, that's not much point. It just wastes turns, and I don't really need that. Okay, let's buy a fresh water. Buy a soda pop. Uh, didn't want that. And buy a lemonade. That's about it. Um, so, let's give her a fresh water. And you get TM16, which is light screen. Yeah. And she's still thirsty, so I misclicked. I, I, I bought for two fresh water by accident. Usually, obviously, I would only have one, which would now be gone, so Soda Pop would be the first in the list. I kind of just clicked through it because I always do, but yeah. Let's give her a Soda Pop, which means she gives me TM20, which contains Safeguard. Um, I don't think she gives me anything important, but I have the money, so might as well. And for Lemonade, we get TM33, which is Reflect. Okay. Not... nothing useful there. Uh, your sister's very immature, that's what sisters do, I'm afraid. Let's use the elevator for the way down. I didn't actually buy much, I know, but... Hey, you got to see it. Can't use our running shoes in here. I could speed up the game, you know. I don't know, I feel that's bad style. It's I feel bad enough having to use an emulator, but it's the only way I can realistically record this. Um, doesn't mean I like doing it, but really, as I said, otherwise you wouldn't get to see it at all. Uh, which, obviously, that would suck. Well, guessing you'd think so. Okay... Uh... That was loud. I think you might have heard my uh, my enter key there. Let's switch golem to the front. And actually, let me check something because I'm not quite sure uh, if the, how they've changed this. Okay, so yeah, the. Um the way this used to work in the um, original games is all the guards that basically guard these uh, houses which lead to the central city, um, all of those guards are thirsty. So if you gave them anything to drink, which you would get from the vending machine, they would basically let you through. Um, but I believe in this game they've changed it where you need a certain special item. Um, which you only get later, and I think that's so they have a sort of more clear, linear progression to the game. And you can bypass that progression by buying the uh, the drink early, which would place you in a town that you can't really do much in, because you'll likely be underleveled anyway, but uh, the point stands, basically. Uh, I should save here. Okay, and let's go in here. And all these guys are just here sort of mourning their dead Pokemon. Except for this guy, of course. Hey Strange, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive! I can at least make them faint. Let's go. Yeah, there's no real Pokemon death. At least not... It can't happen to our Pokemon, only to sort of Pokemon's mentioned by other people. Well, that was a brilliant move. Let's rock throw. I will definitely change my Pokemon against this War Turtle. Uh, let's go for Dragonair. Why not? It's only level 25, that's not good. Uh, 
I don't know if he's already using items at this point. Actually, he might be. But... Uh, doesn't really come up much. Um, I guess Dragon is technically the one that needs... Tr no, Alakazam. 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 Something. Anyway. I will not get the pronunciation on most of these Pokemon names right. Uh, just something you'll have to deal with. It's probably never gonna happen. Well, he does have a plant Pokemon, so I most definitely want to use my uh, Cherries out against that. There we go. At least have some type advantage on my side, for once. And his Kadabra. Uh, let's go for Gyarados. Good night. I outspeed his Kadabra with my Gyarados, so against a super effective move with this level difference, there's no chance in hell. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, unlike you. Smell you later. Okay, so let's go up this Pokemon Tower. Um, since I don't, yeah, I'll, I'll just put Gyarados in front. Uh, you'll you'll see why in a second. Bunch of trainers in here. All of them use Ghost Pokemon. The disadvantage of Gyarados while leveling is that every time you enter a fight you get this animation where you lower the enemy's attack because you're intimidating. Um, which is useful, it makes the enemy weaker of course, but on the downside it takes time to see that animation. Which, if you're leveling for extended periods, it really does add up. Anyway, in here as you can see we see a, well, a ghost Pokemon, in this case a Ghastly, which I suspect is going to die whatever I do to it. I don't believe I... Yeah. Actually, does Dragon Rage want to kill it? It might have more than 40 HP. That's kind of my one hope. And I know they come at higher levels than 16, so don't give up just yet. Uh, there might be ones that survive a Dragon Rage, because it does a set amount of damage, as you know, so that's... Actually advantageous here because I believe most of my other moves would just one hit kill anything here. And I want a Ghastly as you know. Um, it's one of those Pokemon that I'm looking for. Actually the second to last one. Once I've got the Ghastly I will then sort of train it up. Um, and once it's a Gengar. That'll be that. And then all I'll need is the Articuno, which, uh, yeah. I keep going on about it. I know it's probably very boring, but I f I'm very, I feel good about the team. Um, between them, they should be able to use every uh, every HM move that there is. Um, every mo everyone, at least, that I need. Um, they should be able to deal with most enemies fairly well. And mostly I just like all of the Pokemon. <laughs> and Gyarados will get a bunch of levels here probably because I'm not going to switch out for other Pokemon. Um, I just don't feel like it basically. Be cursed with me. <laughs> These women are all a bit crazy. But this is actually a good place to level. 
um, which is why I'll probably get all my Pokemon to at least 35, maybe even 40. Um, you'll see why in a second or in a bit. Um, there's one one reason basically why leveling is quite useful here. You just need to have something that's fairly strong against these ghosts or... I guess you want moves that can one-hit the ghosts. Which most of my Pokemon should have. I'm not sure how far I like how far I actually level here, but um, it's just an easy place to do it, basically. There's an elixir here, which are really, really rare items. Um, think they restore PP, HP, status. They are quite powerful. Um, make and but there's maybe two or three in the game, so yeah. Sadly, very rare as well. Um, I always found that a bit, a bit annoying because all the items that restore PP are um, limited. So I, I always thought that you know the final shop in the game should maybe sell all of them, or at least not not all of them. No, that's not what I meant. I meant at least one of them, just something that. Uh, It allows you to restore PP. I mean, I guess it's a balance issue, but still. Okay, you spite. I don't really care. It is quite nasty because it reduces the PP I have of a certain move. But, um... Yeah. I'm going to assume that I will capture this and then I don't need Dragon Rage anymore. There we go, Ghastly was caught. It's a female, which is fine, I don't... I don't know, I used to only want male Pokemon, but... These days... I don't believe gender really affects anything. It can topple an Indian elephant by enveloping the prey in two seconds. Fair enough. Definitely not getting a nickname. So there we go, that's the... Uh, fifth member of our team which will be replacing Golem. And now the wild encounters are just tedious. I mean, I guess I really sh won't be leveling up here. M I've already leveled up too much. At this point it's going to take too long to level up here to make it really worthwhile. Um, it's not really a good place to use the Meowth method anyway. But it is quite good for. Um, oh, I'll just show you. Just just normal leveling. Um, in the ordinary course of events, during sort of my I guess normal playthrough, at this point I would usually have a Gyarados that's a lot lower level. I I pretty much always go for Gyarados, but I don't always level it up this much. Um, so it would be maybe level 22 or level 23. And, as you might be able to guess, that means it still gets a lot of experience here. Um, and Bite is super effective, it's quite strong. It, it one-hit kills most of the wild encounters here. Um, it just makes it very powerful. And a Q-Bone as well. I'll see what Dragon Rage does. If it survives, I might, I'll, I'll attempt to catch it. If not, it doesn't matter. Okay, it dies. Fair enough. And this is the reason why leveling is so so good here. You just step into this and you instantly get a sort of Poke Center effect, which basically means everything is fully restored. Um, and then only one step away you can start uh, going and... Uh, Encountering wild Pokemon again, so it really is very very quick to heal up your Pokemon So you can just really uh, Really level up quite nicely here It is nice they put this there it's actually, it's already been in the original game as well. Um, 
This is a fairly lengthy dungeon or tower, I guess, and um, if you're not as well over leveled as I am, you might actually be somewhat struggling. So it's nice that up here they kind of put you this, gave you this healing location just to make sure you uh, didn't die from exhaustion, I guess. Haunter. That's the second evolution of uh, Ghastly. Obviously, I'm going to go for uh, one further. Again, this will require me to trade with myself. I will be doing that. Um, I never liked that you had to trade to get certain Pokemon. And at least being on an emulator allows me to skip that. Zombies. I'm crazy Dave. Um, I don't know how much longer the tower is, but I'll just put it all in this episode. Okay. I think Gyarados might just catch up with them. Um, Shares out here. Hello. She never looks back towards in the direction where I find found the nugget, by the way. Because if she did and she walked up to you, you would then be caught in the corner so you couldn't get out. So she doesn't actually uh, spin in that direction. Which is kind of cool. Makes it somewhat easy to bypass her, bypass her if you want to. Give me blood. Silly woman. You know what? Let's change the Pokemon to Dragonair. can't use slam against the ghosts because it's a normal type move which ghosts are immune against but I can use dragon rage and twister which together should be able to take down a ghastly oh, oh that's actually quite nice um, curse means he takes away half of his health and he curses me which means I lose a lot of health each turn but of course if I now change Pokemon curse has no effect. I believe if if the Pokemon that does the cursing dies, it's no effect anyway, but no need to risk it. I think curse takes six turns to kill you. It's, you lose one sixth of your health every turn. So It's a very powerful status effect, but it comes at the price of half your HP, so um, I guess that balances it out. few more trainers but I believe this is the second to last level and the last level is actually a bit different from the first from the ones before okay um, a lot of these uh, channelers only have one Pokemon which is nice um, in other areas as you have already seen sometimes you get one guy who has six or five fairly weak Pokemon most of these have reasonably strong Pokemon but not very many which is preferable uh, he wants to learn Twister. Um, yeah, we can definitely delete Splash. That's nice. So I thought he learned Rain Dance at level 35, but that must be later. I know he eventually learns it, but maybe at 45, not 35.
Okay, she's dead. We do get a bunch of money, but... <clears throat> yeah, money is kind of irrelevant to me. And here's a rare candy. I should mention that in the original game... Well, we're about to have a forced encounter before we are able to go up to the next level. And in the original games, if you had gone to the department store and bought a polka doll, um, what a polka doll does is you use it in combat and you kind of distract the enemy with it. And if it's a fight with a wild Pokemon, you're guaranteed to be able to escape, basically. Um, and I, I'm fairly certain this is how it was. You, you you got that forced encounter, which you got in the original games as well, right here. Be gone, intruders, forced encounter. But if you polka dolled um, the ghost, which is a Marowak, um, you could basically escape from this and get rid of the get past the forced encounter without the silph scope, which wasn't supposed to be possible. Um, and then you could... Oh, it's no longer super effective. Let's twist her. It's not actually a ghost type, I believe, so that's why. And Bone Meringue must be ground type, because it doesn't affect me and I'm part flying. Um, it can't be go... I, I think that's the only type of move that Gyarados would be immune against. Um... So yeah, what, what we used to do when we played this back in the days, a few friends and I played this basically, and we would always uh, reach the city and then go via the underground tunnel and buy a polka doll and then do this dungeon before we even got got the silph scope. Um, I guess because someone had told us that's how you do it and we never worked out that technically that was kind of a sequence break. Uh, not that we cared much. Anyway, you can guess which criminal organization is up here. Yeah, it's your go-to guys, Team Rocket. Yes, I think three of them. So, don't worry, it's not going to be long and then I'll be done and, you know, you can all get some rest. Laugh about the good old times. Uh, I'm a terrible person. Uh, Twister. Twister is not very powerful, sadly, but it has a chance to flinch the enemy, make the enemy flinch, which is nice. So, Dragonair is technically supposed to be the one who gets training. Um, I guess I should stop putting Golem into fights now, because I've got his replacement already. And, as before, in between episodes I'll be leveling up uh, the Ghastly. Um, I will probably have it so that next time it's already a Gengar, um, since you're going to miss that evolution anyway. So I'm just going to not show you the evolution of Ghastly into Haunter either. Um, just so that I can sort of do one stretch of just leveling up. Um, I'd, I'd prefer that, so that's what I'll do. Don't worry, you're not missing much. It's not like it's a particularly cool evolution. Like the one of Cherries, uh, to where uh, Charmeleon into Cherries art. I wanted to see you to see that. Dragonair into Dragon... Dragonair into Dragon Knight? I think that's how, it, how it's called. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll also show you that one definitely, but you know, some of the minor ones doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah. And look, there's an old man up there. Luckily, I'm not quite as overleveled against these guys. I mean, I'm still above their level, but I'm not as ridiculously overleveled as I have been against some other. Um, some of the Pokémon in the tower. Sadly, my accuracy has been drained, so even if I hadn't gotten the level up, I would have changed. 
drowsy uh, Pidgeotto time. Actually, no, technically Alakazam time, but it's psychic against psychic, doesn't work that well. I don't force myself to use the Pokemon that's next in the technical level up chain. Okay, this is a move that just does poison, which is annoying. Basically every poison type move has a chance to poison, but that one just straight out poisons you. No, open the bag, go for my antidote. Apparently, I'm not saving anyone. Not much to say, so I'm just being a little more quiet. Uh. Yeah, I, I don't want to force you. I don't want to force myself to speak. There's nothing to say. I feel that's bad style. And there we go. I like Azam, by the way, another Pokemon you can level up very well in here because it has super effective move. It's very quick. Uh, I actually did mean to change Pokemon. Oh well. And another plus is if you need to go to the Poker Center for whatever reason to change Pokemon, for example, you can teleport out using Alakazam, so that's nice. Or Alakazam. Uh, Pidgeotto next, if I... Yep. Again, we ignore Golem because he doesn't count anymore, sadly. But for the foreseeable future, at least, or at least for a while, it's the last uh, Pokemon replacement. So you can now grow attached to any of the other ones, except for Pidgeotto. Don't grow too attached to that one. Don't fight us, rockets. Wow. <laughs> that one tile gives me an encounter, of course it does. Uh, let's see if this one survives the Dragon Rage. Actually, it would have probably survived the Twist Up. You never know. It does. Okay, let's go back and Great Ball. I need one anyway for the Pokedex, might as well get it now. Um, oh, just in case, uh, I'm not completing the Pokedex. Uh, it's not possible without cheating, I'm not gonna try it. But eventually I need 60 Pokemon, so that's why I need it. I don't want to give a nickname to it, no. Mr. Fuji, heh, you came to save me? Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. We kind of punched her, so she's now at peace. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. And here we are. Strange, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Get the Poker Flute. Uh, put in the key items pocket. Po uh, uh, in the key items pocket. Wow. Upon hearing the Poker Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. Hint, 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 Snorlax. Hint, hint, hint. Not very subtle hint at all. Um. So, I will make a cut here. The next time we see each other, I will be having a, um, a Gengar. And Golem will no longer be with us. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.